Giovanni Gamba Trophy willkommen heißen. Wir wünschen Ihnen einen schönen Abend und viel Spaß.
Bona nit a tothom i benvinguts a l'estadi. A les ordres del col·legiat d'Astúries, senyor Miquís Fernández, els equips del nit d'avui presenten les següents alineacions. Bayer de Múnich, Oliver Kat, Sanyol, Van Buite, De Michelin, Carini, Podolski, Pizarro, Dos Santos, Salihamins, Hummers i Otter. Futbol Club Barcelona. Víctor Valdés. Mota. Márquez. Xavi. Samuel Neto. Ronaldinho. Zambrota. Silviño. Messi. Deco. I un aquest. Atenció, si us plau. Atenció. Demanem un respector silenci en memòria de Llibert Quatre Cases, soci número 1 del Fonfón Bolt de Forró. Tuesday the 22nd of August 2006, welcome to the No Camp for the Gamper Trophy, the presentation of Barca's new team for the season 2006-2007. Barca against Bayern Munich, four times champion of Europe. This is a strong test for Frank Rijkaard's uh, 11 this evening. Barca playing with Valdez in goal. In defence, the new signing world champion Zambrota. Marquez, Oleguer and Silvino in midfield, Mota, Xavi and Deco, and in attack, Messi, Eto, and the captain for tonight, Ronaldinho, playing against Bayern Munich with Oliver Kahn in goal, Sanyol, Van Boyten, Demichelis, Hummels, Saliamidic, Carini, Dos Santos, Otto, Podolski and Pizarro. Nearly 80,000 people here tonight to see the presentation of this year's Barca. The champion of the Spanish League, champion of the League of Champions. And Frank Reichardt and his team have made three signings over the summer, one of whom's on the field tonight, the world champion, Zambrota. Barca, of course, just two days ago, having won the Supercopa of Spain, having beaten local rivals Espanyol in the two-leg final and thrilling people with uh, some of the most spectacular football that we've seen. Tonight they're facing Bayern Munich, always a tough nut to crack. And here's Ronaldinho with his first touch. And there's Xavi, such an important player in midfield and Reichardt will be very pleased to have recuperated him after last season when through injury he missed most of the season. Now Marquez in defence and of course not only with uh, the signing of Thambrota but also with Thuram, Barca's defence has been strengthened considerably this summer. There's Messi, Ronaldinho, Marquez. Even though we're in the middle of the holiday period here in uh, Barcelona, excellent uh, entrance tonight. Nearly 80,000 people. 
very familiar atmosphere, lots of kids in the uh, stadium tonight as Bayern Munich push forward, but neatly intercepted there by the Mexican defender Rafa Marquez. As Victor Valdez played such an important part in Barca's triumphant season last season. Thiago Mota to Xavi, Mota again. Zambrota likes to push forward down the right there. Looks across, gets the ball into the centre. And Deco got ahead to it, but just couldn't control it. And that's the first instance we've seen of Zambrota powering up the right wing. It's going to be a tremendous addition to, to Barca this year. There's a lot of optimism here after last season's successes. And everybody willing Barca on to try and achieve the almost unthinkable objective of winning the six official tournaments that they're competing in this season. As Victor Valdez neatly picks that one off the feet of Pizarro. His Chavi playing the ball wide to Silvino. Silvino finds Zeto. Deco returns the ball, little one-two there. Playing the ball wide for Messi. Another player totally recuperated after missing the last half of last season through injury. And he'll be very anxious to add to the tremendous impression he gave at the beginning of last year. Disappointing World Cup for Messi. Only played about 15 minutes with Argentina and he'll be very anxious to continue with uh, his meteoric rise in the footballing world. Well, Barca have already won the first of those six tournaments they're playing in. As I said, having beaten Espanyol in the Spanish Supercopa. And on Friday in Monaco, they'll face fellow champions of the UEFA, Seville, in the European Super Cup. That's the second official tournament. Frank Rijkaard sitting next to Joan Naiskins, new member of Barca's technical staff, having replaced Tenkate in the close season. Now Eto, Silvino making a run down the left, but Eto Slows it down, looking for Messi. Messi can get to it. Just managing to keep the ball in. He's got Ronaldinho supporting him. Back to Messi again. There's Xavi, can he try a shot? Just blocked by the defence and Messi's offside. And Barca beginning to move the ball around. Playing some quite uh, electric football over the two legs against Espanyol last week. A tremendous 3-0 victory here at the No Camp on Saturday. And there's Ronaldinho showing a touch of class. Really, Barca now playing almost by memory, knocking the ball about, first touch football. As Silvino gets the ball into the middle, and Oliver Kahn making a little bit of a mess of that. Complaining to Sagnol that uh, he could have told him that there was nobody there. And Chabi brought down, there's a free kick to Barca, quickly taken, Ronaldinho on the edge of the box. His Deco just lost control of it, and Hummels clears, but all of the Bayern Munich team back in their penalty area, so there's no one to pick that up. Can making a bit of a dog's dinner of that one. Xabi plays the ball wide to Zambrota. Zambrota first time looking for Messi. And it was Demi Celis who put that one out for a throw into Barca.
Bayern Munich, although not playing as a absolutely top strength team. Always a difficult team to beat. Here's a chance for them. There's Podolski in the middle. Victor Valdez, safe as houses, picks that one up. And Podolski, one of the stars of the German team that did so well in the World Cup this summer. And once again, Bayern pushing forward. This is Salimidic. Zotl. Barca defence challenging strongly and forcing the ball wide. Bayern Munich, although, as I said, they're not playing their absolutely full strength team. Um, in the starting lineup, a team that, uh, in a typically Germanic fashion, never liked to lose. This is Carini. It's Pizarro. Pizarro tries the shot. Sliding wide of uh, Victor Valdez's right hand post. And you have to watch Bayern Munich because one thing they have got is the will to win. And. Uh, as is the tradition here in the Gamper Trophy. Barca playing always against top-class opponents. Here's Xavi. To Mota. Eto. Eto caused a few eyebrows to be raised after being substituted at half-time in Barca's victory against Espanyol here in the No Camp. On Saturday, he left the stadium after taking a shower and didn't hang around to celebrate the, the victory of his team. A little bit of a rap on the knuckles from Rijkaard the next day. He'll be anxious to make amends. Now Ronaldinho back to Eto. Ronaldinho again. But the packed German defence making it difficult for the Brazilian to find any space there. As Bayern once again push forward. This is Carini. It's a special day for Barca, the celebration of the Gampa Trophy, their pre-season tournament. As Salia Madic passes the ball forward, there's Pizarro causing trouble down the left. Dos Santos. And Podolski couldn't quite get to it, but winning a throw in for Bayern Munich. And it looks like they've come here with the express intention of making things difficult for Barca. Ologuer was quick to cover there. Dos Santos. Pizarro. Still Pizarro getting into the center. And Rafa Marquez is there to cover. And a throw in to Bayern Munich. This is always an important occasion, the Gamper. Traditionally, it's been the presentation in public of the new team. Also tonight, of course, it's the presentation of Barca's new president, Juan Laporta, who's uh, just been proclaimed for the second consecutive time president of, of the club. And the Gamper trophy, of course, in memory of Juan Gamper, the founder of Football Club Barcelona, as a tour. It's getting a little bit of trouble. Eti, Messi getting in there. Still Messi wins the ball. He's got Eto down the right. And the pass to Deco. Just uh, too short. And Demi Celis was there to, to intercept. There's three of the technical staff on the bench. Rijkaard, Neskins and Eusebio. Messi there demonstrating what a battling little player he is. And there's Silvino, nice bit of skills. But brought down, says the referee, by Carini winning a free kick to Barca. It's a friendly match, the Gampa Trophy, but as I say, it's always been 
considered an important one. This year it's slightly different because Barca have already played, of course, the final of the second leg of the final of the Spanish Supercopa here in the No Camp two days ago. But usually it's the, the presentation of the team where the fans can decide what their chances are looking like for the coming year. It's a nice ball from Xavi. Zambrota, Deco, lovely little pass to Messi, Zambrota again. And great move, just caught offside there by the German defence. But that's absolutely typical Barca attacking play. As they knock the ball around, first time touches, one touch football. And this man is really the instigator of it. There's a great ball from Xavi to Fambrotto, who beat the offside trap, managed to control it nicely. Lovely little touch from Deco, a messy first time to Fambrotto, and he was just a whisker offside, with Ronaldinho waiting at the far post. As uh, one or two banners all over this uh, stadium tonight, one of them in particular saying, and this is a, perhaps a bad translation that Barca are really scary. I don't think there are going to be many teams this year who relish coming to play here in the No Camp. As uh, so Ronaldinho almost took it past the centre of uh, the Barca defence, wins the ball again. Still Ronaldinho tries a shot, but Can was there and without too much difficulty could block it. But some amazing footwork from the Brazilian genius, the greatest player in the world. Now here's Silvino in defence. Ronaldinho picks that up quickly. And when he's in those positions, it's very difficult to get the ball off him. There's a ball through looking for Silvino's overlap down the left. Really, you have to say that uh, Barca's midfield and attack are oh, scary. Here's Salihamidovic, Dos Santos, and Mota's there, but the ball was won by Carini. Pizarro on the edge of the box. And once again, Bayern trying to get the ball into the centre. And Zambrotto was there at the far post to give away the corner. There's Juan Laporta. He'll be pleased to have uh, been re-chosen as president. The only candidate in the end, the other two candidates not achieving the required number of, of signatures. So without elections, Laporta for the second period becomes or continues being president of Football Club Barcelona. He's had so much success over these last three years. And there's Victor Valdez. Picking that one up very nicely, the cross from uh, Dos Santos. Now Ronaldinho for Barca. Finds Eto. Still Eto. Just having the ball taken off him there by Demichelis and Mota playing it wide for Zambrota. He likes to push forward. Xavi to Messi. Messi trying to play a lovely little one-two with Eto. But the German defence was quickly onto it. Deco looking for Ronaldinho, but intercepted. And Bayern Munich in possession. Dos Santos. It's Hummels. Van Boyten, recent signing for Bayern Munich over the summer. Pifaro. And one really feels, as I said before, with the addition of Fambrota and Thuram in the defence. And there's a chance. Victor Valdez coming out. Podolski, I think, claiming a penalty. Victor Valdez putting on the innocent face, but uh, 
We'd have to look at that one again. Lovely little flicker of the top from Dos Santos. Podolski was quickly onto it. And there was certainly a collision as Valdez, very late onto the ball, collided into Podolski. Wouldn't have been too much of a surprise if that had been given, I think. Bayern pushing forward, but... but Barca playing the ball out of defence. Here's Ronaldinho. Moda to Chabi, the playmaker, looking for Eto. But that's quite easily intercepted by Sagnol. And pushing forward, Sagnol still. Nicely challenged by Silvino. Winning the ball and keeping the ball in play as well. Now you have to say, Barca's defence now with Thambrot and Thuram could well make them almost uh, invincible because they now have one of the strongest defences in the world as well as the strongest midfield and attack. So very little doubt at this moment in world football who is the, uh, the team to beat. There's Leo Messi, lovely little ball for Thambrota. Zambrotta lays it across, there was no one on the far post, just too strong the cross. And Demi Celis clears. Great signing Zambrotta from Juventus. And once again the ball in possession of Barca. There's Xavi. Zambrotta to Messi. They're going to form a great partnership down the right, these two. Messi cuts in. There's Deco, tries a chip. Without even lifting his head, he could tell that Can was just off his line. And lobbed it over his head, just whisker over the top of the bar as well. Lovely little move, great pass from Messi, looking for the space, drawing a defence with him. And Deco, often... When we look at some of the physical work he does in the pitch, we forget what a technical player he is. And that was a lovely attempt. First major chance for Barca. But uh, at the moment, they're looking quite comfortable out there. With Dos Santos losing that one. Mota plays it wide to Thambrotta again. He's got Messi inside him. And there's the little Argentinian, takes it past one. Strong challenge there from Hummels. Play on, says the referee. Wide ball. And that's quite easy for Silvino to cut out. And now here's Ronaldinho. You can really hear the crowd begin to buzz when the Brazilian gets the ball. That was played back to Oliver Kahn, 39 years old, always controversial. Lost his place in the German first team over the World Cup to Lemons, his Messi, the final ball, just a little bit too far behind Eto, intercepted by Sagnol, but his Silvino, Ronaldinho, Nice first touch from Eto looking for Messi, but Messi not quite reading the Cameroon striker's intentions. Pifaro loses the ball straight away. Here's Chabi in the center, center of the pitch. Great tactician, Chabi, playing the ball nicely there. Here's Eto, tries to shot Eto. I don't know if Can got a hand to it, but it certainly hit the post. The referee says he did touch it, so it's a corner. And quite lethal, Eto, from that kind of situation. Good ball from Deco. Here's Ronaldinho now. That's a chip over the top. And the header from Olaguer at the end of the day wasn't quite powerful enough to put Can under any pressure. But the move was good. S 
Salimovic for Bayern Munich pushing forward. Got Dos Santos to the left, goes it alone, and Victor Valdez is quickly out. Zambrota uh, blocked the way of Salimovic. Valdez looking very strong. And Zambrota looking almost unbeatable. Here's Messi. Looking for Ronaldinho. Got a little touch. Now it's Chabi. Looking for Eto. Eto's in the box. Eto. And that was a clearer chance than the last one. But he slid it uh, about a metre past Kahn's right-hand post. And it looks to me like Oliver Kahn's going to have his work cut out this evening. Lovely ball from Chabi. Completely surprising. Sent Sagnol in defence. And unfortunately, the execution by the Cameroon striker wasn't quite good enough. But Barca now beginning to put the passes together and beginning to threaten the Bayern Munich defence. It's Xavi again. Silvino. Oh, lovely play by Silvino. Got Eto to the left, plays it to Eto. Ronaldinho lets it go as Deco finds Messi. What can Messi do now? Tries a shot. And Barca now really putting together some fantastic attacking play. That's three chances in the last three minutes. And it seems that every time they get the ball and push forward, they end up with a goal opportunity. That was a lovely move there. Ronaldinho just jumping over the ball. Eto passing it on to Messi, who tried a left foot curler from just on the edge of the box. And the crowd getting behind Barca as well. There's a lot of noise here this evening. As I said, a lot of children, a lot of families, tourists who take the opportunity to come and see Barca in the holiday period. And they're enjoying every minute of it as Barca begin to really turn it up a little bit now. And battling for the ball there, Pizarro with Silvino. Pizarro winning a throw in for Bayern Munich. Nushkins looking serious. Rijkaard looking relaxed. As Pizarro goes down, free kicks as the referee. That's Dos Santos. And Zambrota challenging from behind. Very, very strong in defence. So it's a free kick to Bayern Munich. Halfway inside the Barca half. Victor Valdez organising the wall and the defence... Well, wall, the defensive positioning there. Little flick on, headed out nicely. And Messi keeps the ball in play. Xavi back to Messi. Eto running into space, but the Bayern defence had got back in time. Ronaldinho just signalling over there to Messi that he was in space on the left. That's a long ball from Van Buiten. Salia Madic just couldn't keep it in. And now it's Rafa Marquez for Football Club Barcelona. And here's Xavi. Plays the ball to Ronaldinho. Xavi again. Wide to Messi. Zambrotta overlaps once again. Zambrotta's work rate really is incredible. Oleguer, Deco, lovely ball looking for Eto. Eto controls it, tries a shot. Good control, first time from Eto. He got some weight behind the shot, but just couldn't keep it down. But he's looking dangerous. And as I said, after the uh, events of two days ago here in the no camp, where Eto since then has received some criticism in the press. And as I said, having his knuckles wrapped by Frank Rijkaard, he'll be anxious to try and get his name on the score sheet this evening to redeem himself. 
There's Van Boyten. The Hemmels back to Sagnol. Bayern Munich finding it difficult to play the ball out of their half. Podolski offside. And he knows it. Very elegant, Rafa Marquez in defence. Motta to Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho looking for Eto. Eto trying to leave it for Messi, but Demi Celis was there for Bayern Munich. And here's Thambrota to Messi. What can they do here? Still Messi moving inside. Still Messi. He was looking to find Eto, but he was just pushed off the ball, so it's a very dangerous looking free kick, just about three or four metres outside the Bayern Munich area. It was the challenge by Demi Celis that uh, the referee decided was worth penalising. Ronaldinho places the ball. Marquez and Mota also standing prepared. The referee moving the wall back. Eto's put himself there. Marquez has moved into the wall now, so it's either Ronaldinho or Mota. Could be better for Mota's left foot, this one, but with Ronaldinho in the team, it's difficult to, to say. Let's see who's going to take it. Referee blows. It's going to be Ronaldinho. 1 0. Superbly executed free kick from the Brazilian. Absolutely unstoppable. Oliver Kahn, there was nothing he could do about it. And I think Kahn, probably like myself, was a little bit confused by the fact that Motta was standing over the ball. It did look as though it was more set up for Motta. And Ronaldinho curling it over and round the wall into the top right-hand corner. And Kahn, I think, waiting for a shot from the left footer. There was nothing he can do. Juan Laporta's happy. Superbly taken kick by the Brazilian. Leaving Oliver Kahn absolutely stock still with nothing to do about that one at all. Superbly taken free kick. And once again, Barca's array of attacking opportunities and manoeuvres and possibilities it was very, very seductive indeed. He knew that was in from the moment it left his boot. And one of the most famous smiles in the footballing world. Showing the, uh, the result there. The first goal, minute 29. Barca won, Bayern Munich nil. As Victor Valdez manages to keep that one in. Once again, Dos Santos chipping over the top of the defence. Pizarro, nice little attempt, but uh, couldn't get any power behind it. Now here's Xavi, Ronaldinho lets it go. Messi. Zambrota. To Mota. Deco returns it to the half-Italian, half-Brazilian midfielder. He's had bad luck with injuries. Now Sil Silvino overlapping, still Silvino. Deflection off the defender. Ronaldinho claims he was a handball. He really enjoys himself when he's on the park. And Markev. Markev brought down. Free kick, says the referee. Dos Santos it was who committed the infraction. Lovely little chip from Deco to Messi. Still Messi, now Deco again. Gets the ball into the middle, there's Eto. Ronaldinho can, what a save, and Eto's there. 2-0. An amazing shot from Ronaldinho on the outside of the box. A tremendously athletic save from Oliver Kahn, but he couldn't hold it. And Eto, quick as a flash, was in there to pick up the rebound and stick it in the back of the net. And that'll make him particularly happy as uh, the members of the VIP section there. And Barca now, after having opened the can, 
with that first goal from Ronaldinho looking incredibly dangerous. Deco looking up. There's the cross. Great first touch from Samuel Eto'o. A tremendous shot, tremendous save. And Eto'o was there to volley it into the back of the net. And really the power, the attacking power of this team is awesome. Tremendous shot from Ronaldinho. And Eto'o is there with his lethal instinct. And he'll be happy with that one. Barca 2, Bayern Munich nil. And is that offside again? Yes, it is. And really, Bayern Munich not being given much of a chance to get into this game. As Barca showing the world what they're capable of. And this is before the... Uh, Season has officially begun, apart from, as I said, the Spanish Supercopa. Barca really have only played a few friendly matches. And there's what they call a spontaneous pitch invasion. I don't know what the flag is. There's a kangaroo on the back of his T-shirt. He's brought down by the members of security. Don't think we're going to be able to have a look at the flag. Freealberto.com. Freealbert.com. Well, that's his free bit of advertising. As he's uh, taken off the pitch. And the referee can restart the match. As I said, a much more, much more of a family atmosphere here tonight than usual. I suspect about 30% of the crowd here are under 14s. And they're making their voices, or certainly their klaxons, heard. As Thambrota plays the ball back to Oleger Presas. Xavi, Dueto, a nice little flick on. Just didn't quite direct it to Ronaldinho. Dos Santos, strongly challenged by Thambrota. He's impressing this evening. Lovely little flick towards Eto. And Bayern Munich managed to clear the ball from the danger area. They don't keep possession for long. Rafa Marquez. Mota. Silvino back to Oliguer and Marquez again earning applause there for the defensive aplomb of the uh, Barca back four there and really it's difficult to recognize that this is Bayern Munich four times champions of Europe 20 times winner of the German Bundesliga and although they're not going to be one of the seeded teams in tomorrow's League of Champions draw, certainly one of the teams that most of Europe's greats would prefer to avoid in the first round as Samuel Eto'o moves forward now down the right, overlapping once again Thambrota. Here's Ronaldinho. Deco, Eto'o, Messi. Messi tries another shot. And that wasn't too far wide. And Oliver Kahn probably thinking that a couple of days in Barcelona in August would be uh, almost like a holiday. He's beginning to have second thoughts, I think. Barca absolutely peppering his goal. Once again, Messi trying to curl that one round. Uh, it wasn't a long way off. And one doesn't really like to say it, but Barca at the moment are toying with Bayern Munich. Here's Thiago Mota. Teco. Eto. 
Matteo and Messi have swapped places the last five minutes. Ball into the space for Meto, but Messi didn't quite read it. As Can clears the ball as far away from his goal as, as possible. As Mota straight away to Silvino. Barca once again as soon as they get the ball. Moving vertically towards the Bayern Munich half. Zambrota destined, I feel, to become one of the favourites here in the No Camp this season. Tremendous amount of work he puts in. Now Ronaldinho. Chabi. Chabi. There's Eto. Deco. But the German de packed German defence managing to block the Portuguese attacking midfielder. And Oleguer's there to cover it. Once again, it's Mota to Xavi. Ronaldinho. Oh, lovely little skill by the Brazilian. Deco, Mota, Zambrota. Eto, Ronaldinho again. Marquez. Eto, Ole is in the crowd for every touch. Messi to Chabi. To Deco. Chabi again, lovely touch, looking for the Portuguese. There's Samuel Eto. Oh, what a lovely skill, 3 0. A little bit fortunate, uh, perhaps, in the rebound. I think it was Deco's ball rebound off uh, the knee of one of the defenders, but Eto was onto it like a shot. Flicked it over Oliver Kahn's head, which isn't the easiest thing to do in world football. And lethal finishing skills from the Cameroon forward there. 39 minutes gone, and Barca have wrapped this one up already. 3-0, it's only a friendly match, but uh, against Bayern Munich, this kind of scoreline is almost unheard of. Lovely skill for Meto, absolutely clinical. Just kneeing the ball into the back of the net. There's a rebound there. It was uh, Hummels who kicked it. It kind of bounced off Deco's thigh. And Eto was onto it like a shot. So perhaps in the beginning it was lucky, but the skill there, the way he took the ball past Can was uh, undeniably the work of a class centre-forward. And Naiskin's probably thinking that uh, he's made the right choice. Scary Barca, there's the poster I was telling you about before. And if you asked Oliver Can, I'm sure he'd agree with that one. And Barca really claiming loud and clear that they're favourites for, if not all six official trophies this year, then certainly some of them nicely robbed ball there by Eto. And Deco there, pushed over by Saliamovic, and winning a free kick. I don't like uh, to be humiliated. The Bavarian team. And that's more or less what uh, Barca are doing to them so far in this first half. Now Ronaldinho. Pushed off the ball there from Pipitharo. Takes the kick quickly. Lovely ball, nice control by Eto. Deco, lovely skills. Stambrota plays the ball back to Deco. Xavi. Messi, who's now moved to the left. Ronaldinho again. And the constant alternatives in attack by Barca, making it so difficult for uh, the defence to get hold of either Ronaldinho, 
Eto or Messi. They swap places continually now. Here's Ronaldinho on the left, playing the ball in short to Messi. Deco losing the ball there, but Motta was there to intercept. Still Messi winning a free kick. And Barca looking very, very dangerous indeed. Here's Ronaldinho. Just too strong there for Silvino. And Barca really enjoying this. The two Brazilians there. Lovely skills from Ronaldinho. And from Deco. Very, very technical players. Quite happy to play the ball first time. But also happy to show the crowd their skills. And the crowd here tonight are certainly enjoying every minute of it. Sammy Celis, Homo, and Dos Santos caught offside. And really, Barca's opponent tonight looking a little bit desperate. Presumably, Rijkaard will be making changes in the second half, but uh, you can imagine Bayern Munich's fear that uh, the players he's going to be bringing on are players of the class of Andres Iniesta, Good Johnson, Julie, Thuram, Edmilson. This really is an excellent squad that Frank Reichardt has built up over the last three years. Deco complaining that uh, Podolski had uh, challenged strongly there, just catching his heel. Here's Ronaldinho, lovely control. Oh, what a beautiful pass. Lovely skill from the Brazilian. As Silvino cut inside. It's very, very dangerous, overlapping from defence, that time moving inside. And Sagnol winning a yellow card for that. Ronaldinho anxious to take the quick, the kick quickly. The referee Mejuto Gonzalez ordering it to be taken again. Oh, lovely pass there from Ronaldinho and Silvino was onto it. These two have a great understanding down the left. There's the free kick from Ronaldinho. I think he tried a shot, but uh, just high and wide. As the referee blows for the end of the first 45 minutes, 45 minutes of excellent football, and the crowd on their feet. We'll see you here for the second half.
presenta el següent equip. Jorquera. Galetti. Gutzonsen. Juli. Gio. Ed Nilsson. Van Bommel. Ed Kermo. Turan. Saviola. Iniesta. Welcome back to the No Camp for the second half of this Gamper Trophy. After a thrilling first half, uh, exhibition of skill and attacking football from Barca, putting them 3-0 up against four-time European Cup winners Bayern Munich. As suspected, Frank Rijkaard has made one or two changes at half-time. Uh, that's being a little bit sarcastic, really, because he's changed the whole team. And uh, we'll just uh, let you know who's playing now for Barca in the second half. In goal, Jorquera. In defence, Belletti, the hero of Paris a couple of months ago. New signing, Thuram, Edmilson and Gio. In midfield, Van Bommel, Iniesta and Good Johnson. And up front, Julie Esquero and Javier Sabiola. Nice touch there from Frank Rijkaard for Sabiola, who doesn't have a place in the team. He's played, seeded in Monaco and Seville the last two years. Barca and the players' agents looking for uh, a way out for the young Argentinian forward. But uh, he's played a few minutes in the pre-season friendlies. Scored two or three goals. He's always impressed with his goal-scoring abilities. And he's playing here tonight, the second half, in what could well be his last match, wearing the famous blue and red Barca shirt. So, a completely new 11 for Barca in the second half. Bayern Munich, at the moment, haven't made any changes at all, perhaps. Um, it's a little bit difficult for the Bayern coach to persuade any of his team, of his players, to get off the bench and come out onto the pitch because really the display that Barca put on in the first half was uh, absolutely spectacular. So now Bayern playing against a completely different team as uh, Albert Jorquera gets his first touch. There's Ed Milson and there's Lilian Thuram. New signing from Juventus, World Cup runner-up, 34 years old and one of the most solid central defenders in world football today. Mike Thambrotta, great signing to strengthen the um, defence. Thought I'm one of those players who make the rest of the team feel just that little bit more comfortable knowing that he's there behind them. There's Van Bommel. Esquero. Gio making a run on the outside. And Esquero winning a corner for Barca, the first corner of the second half. 
Saviola leaves it. Can organising the defence. Good ball into the middle. Can get a fist to it. Saviola challenging for that. And the Bayern defence managing to get the ball out of the penalty area. There's Ludovic Julie, still Julie. Nice little run. Gio Esquero, nice one two on the edge of the box with Saviola. And that one just uh, too high and too closed from Van Bommel. Allowing Can to watch it over the top. That's the captain of Barca, Carlos Pujol. The only player in the squad who um, we haven't seen yet this evening. Well-deserved rest for the hard-working central defender. He's had a busy summer. And still Barca with the ball. The great thing about this team is that even with a completely different lineup, they still play the same kind of football. Here's Good Johnson, still Good Johnson. Just uh, maybe holding on to the ball a couple of touches too long there. And here's Thuram playing the ball wide to Belletti. Belletti, of course, becoming an instant hero in that moment when he scored the winning goal in the final of the League of Champions in May in Paris. Lovely little skill there. From the number 15, Edmilson. Unlucky to miss out on the World Cup, getting injured in training for Brazil just before the actual tournament started. Gio to Esquero, still Gio. Esquero's got Good Johnson there. Good Johnson, lovely ball, looking for Saviola, who had some space but couldn't quite control it. Saviola's always been a firm favourite here. There are supporters of Barca who find it difficult to understand his uh, being sidelined from the team. And Frank Rijkaard's first season here as coach. Saviola scored a lot of goals. And some say saved Rijkaard's skin when a lot of the press were calling for him to be replaced. Here's Saviola, and Saviola scores the fourth. Lovely work from Julie, taking it past Can, And lovely smile from Frank Rijkaard there. It's clearly no bad feelings. Simply that Saviola doesn't fit into this side, but you can see from the reaction of the crowd how popular he is. And almost any other team, I think, would be delighted to have Saviola as a second or third choice forward. Good work from Julie keeping the ball in, and Saviola was there first time to crack it into the back of the net, and that's certainly made him very happy. That's his fourth goal in the pre-season, so he's got the chance to uh, impress any potential buyers. It's been over two years since he last scored in the no camp, and that one's brought a smile to his face. And you can hear the crowd now chanting his name, which uh, shows, as I say, the good feeling that there is around this team in general, and even the players who don't seem to fit. Many of those playing here in the second half might find it difficult to get a regular place in the team, although perhaps Frank Rijkaard will be looking for the famous rotations this year. That's Good Johnson plays it back to Thuram. Good Johnson playing a little bit further back than his usual position. But Barca certainly, if they're aiming to win the six trophies that they're playing in this year will need plenty of substitutions, plenty of rotations and just couldn't quite keep that one in play there Gio very, very important role he's been playing for Barcelona in the last few years 
relaxed looking atmosphere in the VIP box as Can prepares to take the goal kick getting the ball as far away from his goal as humanly possible Esquero battling and winning that ball Good Johnson playing it back and once again Iniesta just pushed off the ball there, winning a free kick. And Tres Iniesta, such a skillful player. He'll be looking to demonstrate what he has to offer this evening. Wearing the captain's armband for the second half. And into the centre, headed out by Hummels, Pithalo standing on the ball, and Bayern looking really a little bit the worse for wear now. As Barca, even with 11 changes at the half-time, continuing their total dominance, here's Saviola, Julie, Good Johnson was there, waiting for the ball to reach him, but the pass wasn't good. Podolski, Play on, says the referee. Dos Santos, it's his favourite manoeuvre there, looking for Pizarro. Ed Wilson and Thuram between them, sweeping up that one without too much difficulty. Three or four of those little chips over the top of the defence that Dos Santos has made, looking for Podolski. Without causing too much trouble to the Barca defence. That's a nice idea there from Van Bommel, looking for... Saviola, but this time the Bayern Munich defence Van Boyten was there to intercept the ball. Sagnol, Demichelis intercepted nicely. Good Johnson, it's a good ball. Looking for Saviola again. Couldn't quite keep it down there. Saniol heads it away. There's Esquero. Saviola takes it past one. Just couldn't keep the control. There's Van Bommel. Julie makes a run into the box. And Bowser piling on the pressure. Bayern Munich looking more like a second team, a second division team at the moment. As they manage, Hummel manages to get that one away as far as Pifaro. Once again, Barca winning back possession almost immediately. And the crowd really enjoying this one. Belletti to Thuram. Nice little touch from Sabio, looking to Good Johnson. Good Johnson looking for Julie. Julie gets into the box, causing all kinds of trouble to the Bayern Munich defence. And Barca win a corner. Well, as I said, if Oliver Kahn thought this was going to be a holiday, he certainly revised his opinion over the first 55 minutes of this match. Tremendous atmosphere in the stadium, pushing Barca on. Can manages to pick that one up quite, quite easily, but not looking at the moment like one of the most experienced goalkeepers in world football. Thuram there, solid as a rock at the back. And Bomo. And it's a throw into Barca. Dos Santos challenged by Belletti. Belletti to take the throw. And there's the double goal scorer, Samuel Eto. And the guy in the hat, Ronaldinho. Now Gio for Barca. 
Van Bommel. Saviola. Nice ball into the middle. Esquero played it first time. And Van Bommel racing in from the second line. There's Thuram with a little bit of difficulty. But Pithano couldn't control it, and the ball safely back to Jorquera. Pithano just losing his balance there. Thuram demonstrating what an experienced defender he is there. Just a little touch of the hand enough to destabilize the Bayern Munich forward as Esquero tries a chance and wins another corner. Wants to the ball through from Good Johnson. Esquero, the first touch is good, but Hummels just managed to get a foot to it, deflecting the ball out for a corner, which is swung across. And headed out by Pizarro, I think it was. Once again, Barca winning possession almost immediately. Van Bommel, good Johnson. Gio, good Johnson. Edmilson. Belletti calling for it. Belletti making a run. That's a good ball from Edmilson. Belletti gets onto it. And what's the referee given? A corner. Belletti knows that even though he's uh, got the kudos of that winning goal in Paris, he's going to have to battle for a first-team place with Thambrotta having been signed over the summer. But Belletti's a tremendously important player moving forward for Barcelona and a much stronger defender than may at first appear. Can finding trouble again, here's Van Bommel, couldn't quite get the shot. And free kick given against Julie, bringing down Podolski. And as Bayern Munich tried desperately to get the ball somewhere near Jorquera's goal. Good Johnson is well back there in a kind of defensive midfield position. As Carini couldn't control that pass. And Bayern once again lose possession to Football Club Barcelona. That's quite an interesting experiment, really, what uh, Frank Rijkaard's doing here in the second half. With Good Johnson there in a very defensive role. Demonstrating the great opportunities, really, that uh, Rijkaard has for rotation. And really, it's not going to be an easy job for the Dutch coach to choose a typical starting lineup with the quality of this squad. And if we're describing the team that we're seeing on the pitch now is the second 11 as Saviola races through to that, but can having plenty of time to pick the ball up. If we describe this as the second 11, then there are many teams out there that would uh, be delighted to have 11 players such as these. Oliver Can in no rush, plays the ball. Carini losing it. And a throw in, although Esquero felt he might have been fouled. Barca winning a throw in. Edmilson to Thuram. Imposing in the centre of defence. The Brazilian and the Frenchman. And just caught offside there. Van Bommel, the Dutch midfielder. Finding it difficult to 
settle down in Barca. This is to be his second season. And a free kick to Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich will be quite desperate, I think, to try and get at least one back. The famous consolation goal. The Kuit. Offside to Salihamovic there. And the Bas Barca defence playing the Offside trap quite well. Bearing in mind, of course, that Thuram has only played a few minutes for Barca so far in this pre-season. And isn't quite used to playing alongside Ed Edmilson. And here is Edmilson. Nicely taken from Van Bommel's Santi Esquero. Good Johnson, back to Esquero. Free kick, says the referee. As the crowd enthusiastically perform the Mexican wave. Santi Esquero, another player who's going to find it difficult to, to play minutes this season. Oliver Kahn organising the defensive wall. Looks like Gio's lining up to take it. He's got a very powerful left boot. Here comes Gio. And not causing Kahn too many difficulties. Sliding past the left-hand post. Barca very, very comfortably dominating this match. And substitution for Bayern Munich. As Lam comes on to take the place of Sagnol. First change for Bayern Munich. And once again, Barca with possession. Here's Belletti to Thuram. Ed Milson. Good Johnson. Looking to find Van Bommel, but intercepted by the uh, Bayern defender there. And Bommel playing the ball wide. There's Julie. Belletti's moved outside him. Julie trying to get the ball into the centre. Now it's Belletti. And the ball intercepted by Demichelis. It's Pizarro. And Bayern Munich finding it so difficult to string two passes together. Against the total football being played here by Frank Reichardt's Football Club Barcelona. Van Boyten. Edmilson intercepted this nicely. And Andres Iniesta winning a free kick. Now good Johnson. Looking for Julie. Well won by Belletti. This is Sagnol. 
playing that with Kalini, still Sagnol. And between Gio and Edmilson winning the ball, now Santi Esquero, he's got space down the left. Got support in the middle as he moves across. Here's Good Johnson. Good Johnson could try a shot. And that wasn't too far over the top. And Deco and family in the crowd enjoying this as much as anybody else. Good signing, Good Johnson. And that one just sliding over the top of Cannes' goal. It's Good Johnson again, playing the ball back to Thuram. Edmilson to Iniesta. Belletti looking for Julie. Julie challenging strongly. That's uh, more or less the position from where Barca managed to set up their fourth goal. And another change being made. As Schweinsteiger comes on. One of the revelations of the German World Cup team this summer. Scorer of the hat-trick in the third and fourth place match. Carini's been taken off. Second substitution for Bayern Munich. Andres Iniesta. Tesquero could control. Tesquero cuts inside. Here's Iniesta again. There's a useful looking ball. Looking for Von Van Bommel. Headed in by Esquero. And Oliver Kahn not enjoying himself very much out there this evening. As Esquero picked up the rebound from defence, but just was unable to control the header from outside of the box. Van Bommel challenging strongly, and Santi Esquero had an opportunity there with Can out of position. Saviola just couldn't quite get onto that one, but he always gives of his best when playing for Barca. Now oh, Bayern Munich, it's a ball through for Podolski, tries a shot. But not being able to keep it on target, not really worrying Albert Jorquera too much. But for the first time since the first opening minutes of this match, Bayern Munich actually putting the Barca defence under a little bit of pressure. Here's Edmilson to Belletti. Thuram, Edmilson again, Andreas Iniesta, there's Van Bommel to Belletti, Iniesta back to Thuram, and Barca patiently Building up, there's Good Johnson. Just losing control of the ball there. And now, once again, Bayern Munich pushing forward. Here's Dos Santos. And Thuram was there to clean that one up, giving away the corner, but taking the ball neatly away from Dos Santos. An absolute, absolute guarantee of defensive Solidity. Lillian Thuram. And Jorkella couldn't quite keep that one in. And shot blocked there. 
With Bayern Munich gaining a free kick. Ottel tried the shot from outside the area. Thuram winning that one powerfully in the air. Ottel took the rebound and tried the shot and winning a free kick for Bayern Munich. Pifaro standing over the ball. Dos Santos is, is in the wall, which Jorquera is trying to uh, place correctly. Podolski is also standing there. And Jorquera, well saved, getting behind that one nicely. Good positioning from the young number two goalkeeper. Now here's Ed Milson to Thuram again. Good bit of goalkeeping. It was uh, Pizarro with the shot. And here's Iniesta for Barca. It's good Johnson playing the ball back to Thuram. Good control by the French international, former French international. He's announced after the World Cup his retirement from the French national team. Julie playing it back, here's Edmilson. Moving, powering through. It was Demi Chalice who cut it out. And Bayern Munich, a little bit of space again. And finally it was Iniesta who blocked Podolski's shot. Demi Chalice. There's Dos Santos. Balls into the middle, but uh, Edmilson was there to clear the ball away for a corner. Bayern Munich beginning to uh, string a few passes together now. Beginning to put a little bit more pressure on Jorquera and the Barca defence. There's a corner. Hummels has moved into the box. Nearly getting ahead to it was uh, Van Boyten. There's a deflection, but cleared away by Edmilson. And now Saviola. He's got Esquero there. Julie's in space. His Gio. And Can. Under difficulty, just getting a hand to it and pushing the ball away for another corner. Not happy with his defence. Saviola once again, very quick through the centre there, finding Gio, whose centre shoot was uh, pushed away with difficulty by the, the German giant. And yes, to, and yes to, to take the corner. It's a long, high one. Van Bommel running, racing back to get, pick it up. And looking once again for Belletti down the right. And it'll be a free kick to Bayern Munich. As Pifaro was brought down by Edmilson. Now here's Schweinsteiger. It's Pifaro. Sagnol getting to the byline, laying it across, tries the shot. And just bouncing, Dos Santos shot, bouncing over the top of the bar. And although they're managing to get forward a bit more now, Bayern Munich, not really threatening too much. Dos Santos just slipping before he actually contacted the ball and kicking it down where the bounce took it over the top. Now Thuram for Barca. Good Johnson. Belletti. Good Johnson again. Never seen Good Johnson play in such a 
defensive position before, but there he is on the ball. And now here's Belletti. Sorry, Van Bommel. Gets the ball into the center. Saviola couldn't quite get a foot to it. And Esquero's shot cleared away by the German defense as Thuram plays the ball back to Jorquera. Saviola lamenting that missed opportunity. It was Belletti. Got the cross in, a nice cross that Saviola just couldn't quite catch. And on the far post, Esquero, once again perhaps doubting between a shot or a, or a cross. Saviola plays it neatly back to Van Bommel. Esquero again. Losing control of the ball, but it's a throw into Barca. And his Giovanni Van Bronckhurst. Long ball out to... Belletti, who lost control, but it's picked up by Good Johnson. And Barca now quite happy just to play this one out. Not quite so much run movement off the ball now as we saw in the first half. Is Julie. Still Julie. Good Johnson. Holding on to possession of the ball, Good Johnson. Finding Thuram, winning some applause. Iniesta. Nice ball out towards Gio, but he couldn't keep it in. And it's a throw in to Bayern Munich. It's a long ball, looking for Pizarro. And Jokela did well because Pizarro just had the edge on Thuram for pace, and that ball was nastily just on the line, on the edge of the penalty box. Jorquera, instead of risking with his hand, decided to clear the ball with his leg, giving away a corner for Bayern Munich. And the corner taken to the near post, headed out by Gio. And Hummel was in quickly to try and get a shot, but pushed off the ball. Ottel for Saviola. So it's another free kick to Bayern Munich in a relatively dangerous position just outside the Barcelona penalty area. Saviola, as always, giving it 100% and more. Pushing Ottel, who probably weighs at least twice what the young Argentinian weighs. And the Schweinsteiger's standing above this one, as is Pudolski. And it looks like it's going to be Pudolski's shot. Dos Santos is there in, in the wall. And Jorquera getting behind that one nicely, giving away another corner. Set-piece move, obviously pre-prepared. Pudolski's shot took a deflection. And Jorquera did well to get down to it. A little bit of sustained pressure from Bayern Munich now. And once again, Jorquera was there. I think he... I think he couldn't actually see the ball. I think uh, the, the bounce of the defender was uh, blocking his view of it. And hence that's strange. As Gio just getting in the way of the ball there. And Jorquera couldn't quite see it as uh, Dos Santos hooked it round him. It's a long ball looking for and finding Santi Esquero. Good Johnson making a run forward. But uh, Esquero was fouled. A professional foul because Barca were on the attack with Saviola and Good Johnson running through the middle. It was Schweinsteiger who brought him down, just clipping his heel, I think, after perhaps getting the ball first. There's Esquero's control. Schweinsteiger getting the ball, but yes, just catching Sandy Esquero's heel. No serious damage done. There's the ball once again in play with Thuram to Belletti. Iniesta. Julie. Now what can Barca do? There's Saviola. 
Julie again. Belletti's outside him. Belletti, Saviola, good control. The final shot just a little bit uh, too high. From Rabbit, Saviola, as they call him. But the first control from Belletti's pass was uh, sublime, typical. Saviola, close control there. Lifting the ball to try and get it over the giant can. But demonstrating once again what a useful attacking player Javier Saviola can be. Free kick as Belletti was brought down by Dos Santos. Just uh, Barca having wavered for the last few minutes. Although really Bayern Munich haven't put too much pressure on their defence. I think the crowd would quite like to see a fifth. Iniesta trying to find Saviola, who was offside, just by a shade. Was the pa previous pass, lovely pass into the space there between the three Bayern defenders by Belletti. Samuel's Samuel, first time control was sublime, but just didn't quite have the space to prepare his shot. It was Julie Van Bommel. Saviola couldn't get to it. There's Good Johnson challenging. But it's Bayern Munich's possession. Demi is looking for Pizarro. Still Pizarro, slides the ball outside, but in an offside position was Otto. It was Podolski, Polish origin, but he had such a good World Cup playing alongside Klose. Hasn't had quite so much luck tonight. Thuram in the centre of the Barca defence. Gio. Saviola. Van Bommel again. To Giovanni Van Bronckhurst. Zuniesta, Esquero, Van Bommel's ball was intercepted. Esquero battling to try and regain possession. Hummels. Otto. Steinsteiger, Sanyol moving down the right. He's got three men in the box, gets the ball into the centre, nicely headed away by Edmilson. And here's Good Johnson. Iniesta. And Van Bommel's control wasn't good enough to get a chance of a shot or a pass. And quite easy for the Bayern Munich defence to clear. As once again they push forward. The Schweinsteiger. Otto. Pizarro, Sanyol, wide ball, and bad control there. As the ball goes out for a Barca throw in, Lamb unable to control that rather easy ball. 
Belletti with the throw in. And Van Bommel brought down there. It'll be a Barca free kick as Dos Santos just his challenge deemed to be too strong. Ball kept in by Gio, picking up the return pass nicely from Esquero and winning a corner as Hummels cleared that one with a corner to Football Club Barcelona. Well, I think if we're going to draw any conclusions from tonight, it's that Barca's second 11, perhaps a little bit unfair to call them that, as I said, is a match for the might of Bayern Munich, and the first 11 is uh, almost impossible to play against, I would suspect. Quite a nice attempt of a shot there from Julie. Ball just bouncing a little bit too much, making it a little bit difficult for him to control. Just bouncing too high, and... Julie finding it impossible to keep the ball down as Juan Laporta leaves the VIP presidential box. Just two minutes to go as Good Johnson in possession. Finds Belletti on the right. Iniesta to Gio as the referee blows the whistle for the end of this 41st Gampa Trophy. Barca, clear winners, 4-0 over Bayern Munich. Absolutely, absolutely no doubt about that result whatsoever. Thanks a lot for enjoying this football spectacle with us this evening. Barca 4, Bayern Munich 0.
74, trofeu Gaffel. Trofeu Estrella Damm, el millor jugador de la nit d'avui. Samuel Eto. Fa l'entrega Josep Moraga, subdirector del grup Damm. Subcampió Bayer de Múnich. Fa l'entrega el senyor Manuel Gamper. Campió, Futbol Club Barcelona. Fa l'entrega el senyor Jordi Gamper. Barça, Barça, 